Now, a new festival aimed at encouraging young filmmakers in the South East is being launched in Tunbridge Wells tonight. The three-day Lantern Media Festival will include art and photography exhibitions as well as live music. Jamie Stevenson has more. Finale in stop-motion animation tells the story of an ageing stage magician as he struggles with retirement. It's just one of 25 entries for an event organisers hope will become a permanent fixture on the artistic calendar. The Lantern Media Festival begins tonight at the Trinity Arts Centre in Tunbridge Wells. It's really a showcase for talent um, based in the South East, so I guess kind of Kent, East Sussex, that kind of thing. Uh, and we just feel there's not really anything out there to provide a platform for, I guess, mainly young filmmakers, young artists and young musicians. OK, soldier, remember the mission objectives. Would you really have done it? Well, there seems to be this uh, inclination among people to feel they have to move up to London if they want to make a career in the media and they're already living in the South East. And I think it's a shame because I think there's a very vibrant creative community in the South East. In Kent, as far as I know, there isn't a, a film festival that's aiming at developing young professionals and, and exhibiting their work. I think it's a, a brilliant opportunity and a brilliant uh, initiative from these guys. She smiled and she said, Good morning. Lovely day. The festival stretches to Sunday evening, Many of the films here will be seen for the first time. Jamie Stevenson, for Meridian Tonight. It's all happening in the South East this weekend. Uh, the Hop Festival and the Lantern Media Festival. Yeah, young filmmakers. I don't know, do you remember um, Screen Test with Michael Rodd? Gosh, no. I keep telling you, I'm too young. See, they used to have a young filmmakers competition. I always wanted to enter, but it's so much easier now, isn't it, to make films than it was back in our day. Your day.